The geometric figure shown below consists of a square and four semicircles. This is a half circle. The diameters of the semicircle are the sides of the square and each diameter is 10 centimeters long. Which of the following is the closest approximation of the total area in square centimeters of this geometric figure? So the trick to this question is to add together the different parts of this geometric figure. Specifically, we have this square in the middle, so we can find the area of that square and add it to the areas of the semicircles which make up the rest of the figure. So here is a semicircle, that's half a circle. Here's another half a circle. If we were to bring these two sides together, we would have a whole circle. So we're gonna to need to add it to one whole circle. Plus we have one more whole circle, which is made of these top two. So basically if we know the size of the square and the two circles, add them together, we'll be able to get it. So the trick here is to know this diameter. The diameter of each circle is 10 centimeters long. And that's this distance right here is 10 centimeters long. That's the sides of the square here. That's also the diameter running through this circle. And we can use that to find the area. So for the square, uh, a square's area is simply the side times the side. So we have 10 times 10. And then let's add the area of a circle, which you know ultimately we're gonna have two circles. So let's multiply everything by two. And then the area of just one circle is if we'll remember, it's pi r squared. And in this case, r is half of the diameter, or five. And so pi times r squared, five squared. That's the area of just one circle, and we have two of them. All right, so let's go ahead and simplify this equation. 10 times 10 simplifies to just 100. And then we add it to uh, two times uh, pi r squared, so that's going to be uh, 2 or 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50 times pi. And you know, we, we, we might as well pull out a calculator here to, to figure out what 50 times pi is. We could estimate, but why bother? So pi times 50 is equal to 157, so this number is now 157, and we just added that to 100, and that's pretty simple addition. We can do it in our head. The total here is 257. If we just round that a little bit, the answer is H. 260 is the total area.